uh, that was a shutout. I would have loved for that fight to be more than two minute rounds, but hey, look at this bloody Swede. Don't she look like she just hit hard as shit overall? Like, I would not want to play fight with her if I was her husband. Like, she had knocked the shit out of you, bro. Anyway, um, T Street Controversy with Fight Feud 360. Um, just got up about, you know, not even a half an hour ago. And as these women were being introduced in the ring, so we are right on time. Here, April the 30th, 2022. The heavy-hitting diva, Franchon Cruz de Zern, Franchon Cruz de Zern, should go on to be undisputed champion at 168 pounds. Look at this bloody Swede. That's Midsommar. We're going to call her um, Ellen Midsommar. Uh, Cedar Roos. Poor girl hasn't fought in two years. Remember, she had beat Alicia Napoleon to win three of the belts on the undercard of Clarissa Shields versus Ivana Hobbison. Remember, this is the undercard of Katie Taylor versus Samantha Serrano in New York. 17 plus thousand tickets sold. The arena just starting to fill up. This is the second fight on the uh, main card. The next is going to be Liam Smith versus Jesse Vargas. And then, of course, um, Herstory, you know, Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano. Another fight in which I wish in which I wish there were three minute rounds, but hey, but um, yeah, this girl, you know, she just couldn't keep uh, uh, Cruz Desern off of her. Now, Cruz Desern right now, here's a resume going into the fight seven and one with two KOs, only lost to Clarissa Shields. And then she had that um, no contest against Alejandra, whoops, Alejandra Jimenez. Very controversial uh, fight. Jimenez popped dirty. Um, Pretty much. I know this is going to sound kind of insensitive, but let's tell the truth. Uh, Franchon Cruz de Zern, when she fought Alejandro Jimenez, Alejandro Jimenez was a juiced up LGBTQ. You know, but I do feel bad for this girl, though, because she hasn't really been able to get like a big fight. And now, you know, she's pretty much got beat up, you know, by, you know, here's the thing. Franchon Cruz de Zern is the better fighter, better IQ. But it looks like overall that, you know, uh, Cedar Roos got some skills, but she just didn't use it. Let's listen to the particulars. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I am T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Kevin Morgan both scored the belt 99 to 91. Eric Marlinski 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And now. Wrap her up. There you have it, Jessica. How I'm disputed. Right it's, it's almost emotional for me to see her going through those emotions because I know what it feels like to hear those words, all the hard work, all the time that they've spent with this fight not mm. happening, and now it's happened, and now she has all the belts. This is happy for her. She's got her gold. Never forget. And not only did she win the titles, Jessica, she did it with her best ever performance. This performance was spectacular. I don't know if it was the nutritionist. I don't know if it was as much time as they spent to the gym. I don't know what it was, but franchise. We're going to take a little bit of a uh, jump cut. Listen to the uh, post fight interview. Thanks for watching. Take your time out. Be right back. <laughs> franchise, congratulations. You are now the undisputed champion at 168 pounds. You could see the emotion on your face when you heard those words. What was going through your mind? I don't even know. I don't even know. I saw this moment visualized many times, and I never thought I was going to get here, but shout out to my manager, shout out to my coaches, my husband. Shout out to Clarissa, because if you wouldn't have took this chance to be on the prom debut, baby girl, we both are disputed. <laughs> but I'm just blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you. How would you describe what you've gone through to get to this point? I've gone through losing my first fight. I've gone through managing and promoting myself. I've gone through fighting a steroid cheat. I've gone through losing my hair. But I said, fuck <laughs> that hair. I want the belts. Wig. There we go. Clarissa Shields sat ringside with us for a few rounds. She said it was the best she's ever seen you look. Did you feel that way in the ring? I still have some improvement. My nerves got a little bit, but I, this is the start of something new because I know the world gets harder. It doesn't get easier. And I want to still compete at elite level, and I want to keep working harder. What was the biggest difference in you in this fight than some previous fights? Well, I had a, a full training camp. 
Uh, my manager got behind me, my team got behind me, and we just worked. We just worked, and it was just uh, amazing. You were fighting a unified champion. You knew she had power in that right hand. What was the game plan for you coming in? The game plan was go to the right, which I kind of deferred from, but it was just, I, I felt her punches, and it went harder than mine. So we're going to sit there and trade. We're just going to sit there and trade. But <laughs> I tried to stick to it the best I could. Ooh. I think a lot of people may be watching you for the first time. Don't understand the dynamic between you and Barry. Watching him in the corner, it seemed like you're doing everything wrong throughout the fight. How would you describe this relationship? See, a lot of people want to be good, but my coaches, and Barry and my husband, my team, they want me to be great. So they never let me settle. They never let me settle. Never. When you saw the blood in her face early in that fight, how did that change things for you? Oh, it was target practice. So I just kept wanting to hit it instead of working the body. But I knew that I was, yeah, I knew she was feeling me. And look, look, my shorty, like Scooter said, it was shock season. <laughs> you now have all four belts at 168 pounds. What do you want to do with them next? Well, first of all, I want to take a shot and wash my ass. And I want to sit there and, <laughs> and, and part of my coaches uh, sit with Peter and the team and see what's next. But I'm just going to bask in this moment. I am here. I am present. I'm worthy. I'm enough. And I am the undisputed champion of the world. Congratulations, Fred John. Todd, what Fred John Cruz deserved was 17 years. That was a good fight. You know, um, and one thing about those women boxing fights is they move fast, you know. You know, it's not the type of fight where it's like, you know, you could take a round off and go upstairs and, you know, like I got to go do now and warm up some food for the kids and shit. I did all my food prep earlier. Uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way, at T-Street Controversy. Um, the links to my social media are right down below in the description box. And take your time out, like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, next fight on the docket is going to be Jesse Vargas versus uh, Liam Smith. Then we're going to do the main event, Katie Taylor Serrano. Then we're going to head over to top rank on the ESPN and close the fight out with Oscar Valdez versus Shakira Stevenson. And um, we're going to do a post-fight live stream after this. Awesome stuff. Happy for it. Thanks for watching. I'm T-Street Controversy with Fight View 360.